Hello, welcome to Azure Cloud Learning Path channel. In this module, we will talk about how to load data and run queries on an Apache Spot cluster in Azure HD Insight. We will also learn how to create Apache Spot cluster in Azure HD Insight using Azure Portal. And we will learn how to create a data frame from a CSV file and how to run interactive Spark SQL queries against an Apache Spark cluster in Azure HD Insight. And we will use Power BI desktop tool to connect to HD clusters and build a sample report. Azure HD Insight is a managed full spectrum open source analytics service for enterprises. The Apache Spark framework for HD Insight enables fast data analytics and cluster computing using in-memory processing. In this module, we use the Azure portal to create an Apache Spark cluster in Azure HD Insight. We then create a Jupyter notebook and use it to run Spark SQL queries against Apache Hive table. Jupyter notebook lets us interact with our data, combine code with markdown text, and do simple visualizations. I'm in the Azure portal now. We use the Azure portal to create an HD Insight cluster that uses Azure storage blobs as the cluster storage. I will go to search option and then just type HD Insight. You can see under the services HD Insight clusters, click on HD Insight clusters and click on add. Now we need to create a resource group. I will just say HD resource group. Click OK. And we need to choose cluster name. I will just say cluster spark test 01 cluster. And we have to make sure this cluster name is available. And region, I'll just keep it East US. And let's select cluster type. Click on cluster type. And select Spark cluster. And we need to provide the login username and password. So here we can see that the, this resource name is not allowed. I will just say test sample. Now it's a valid cluster name. Let's go to next next window of storage. So here we need to create a new storage and make make sure this storage account is available. And let's keep everything default and everything looks good just keep it default and go to configuration pricing here we can choose the head node and worker node i will just choose the lowest price one now let's review and create this cluster. So everything looks good. So let's deploy this HD inside cluster. It's going to take some time. Once our deployment is complete, we can uh, go to HD Insight Cluster Overview page. Our deployment is still progress, so I'll just, our deployment is still in progress. So let's go and check the resource group. And I will click on HD Insight Cluster. Now I'll click on Jupyter Notebook. I will create a Jupyter Notebook. So we need to enter the credentials.
Jupyter Notebook is an interactive notebook environment that supports various programming language. The notebook allows us to inter interact with our data, combine code with markdown text, and perform simple visualization. So I will click on the Jupyter uh, page. Uh, on the right side, just click on New and click on under the notebooks, click on PySpark. So no, so we can see that new notebook is created. Now I will enter uh, from PySpark.sql import and from PySpark.sql.types. This code imports the types required for this scenario. And I will just execute this. I will run this up. Since we get error here, the code failed because of fatal error. Let's uh, go back to Azure portal and see if our cluster is available there. So it is still in deployment in progress. So I will click on overview page. So I'll just wait for a few more minutes. Now we can see that deployment succeeded. I'll just click on a resource group. I'll go to a HD cluster. And I'll just close this one. Let's click on Jupyter Notebook and let's select a notebook. Now I'll just run this PySpark.sql import. This code imports the types required for this scenario. We just run this. And I will run so the two commands. This code create a data frame and a temporary table. So I created, I deleted the old Jupyter notebook and then I created a new one. So and then I rerun these. Uh, uh, SQL import queries. So this code imports the types required for this scenario. And I will run this code to create a data frame and a temporary table. Let's run these two codes parallel. Now both commands finished. So now we can run queries on the data frame. So once the table is created, we can run an interactive query on the data. So I will just run the sample query here. Select building ID and target temperature minus actual temperature. That's the temperature difference and date. June 1st, 2013. So let, let me run this code. Now the query is completed. We can see the results in the visualizations as well. We can see the results in other visualizations as well. So here we see the data in the table format. So if we want to see in the area format, then select area, then set the values. I'll select the area, then here we can choose the values. Now let's check the tables available in this cluster and just run the, the code that says uh, show tables, click on show tables. And we should see a default table, hive sample table and HVAC table and HVAC temp table.
after we see the tables list, then we will verify the data in the table. So we see now here we see that high sample table and then HVAC table. So now I'll just uh, run the code that verifies data in the table. Select from HVAC table limit 10. So here we can see that the date, uh, data, date, time, target temperature, actual temperature system. So now we will use Power BI to create visualizations, reports, and dashboards from the spot cluster data. I will use Power BI desktop too. I will open Power BI desktop tool and let's just on the home tab uh, navigate to get data click on get data so now let's 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 say HD cluster let's say HD insight so here we can see that Azure HD insight spot Let's select Azure HD Insights spot, click on connect. Now we need to enter the server name. I'll just go to here and then copy the, the server name and paste it here. And just click on OK. Now we need to enter the username and password. Now select HVAC table. The preview is evaluating once we have the preview available we will click on load and then we will we will visualize the variance between target temperature and actual temperature for each building so now click on hvac and right click on it and then click on load Now on the right side, on the visualizations, click select area chart and then bring the building ID, building ID field to the axis and drag the actual temperature and target temperature fields to the value. I'll drag it here, the target temperature. actual temperature and then target temperature. By default, the visualization shows the sum for actual temperature and target temperature. So we can select down arrow next to actual temperature and target temperature in visualization pane. So we can see sum is selected. So here we can see that's the summarization. We can select average and we can see the difference, sum of actual temperature and target temperature and the Power BI service allows us to share reports and dashboards across our organization. So, so far in this module, we created Apache Spark cluster and then we load data and run queries on an Apache Spark cluster in Azure HD inside and we created Jupyter Notebook and we connected we connected to HD clusters using Power BI and we will sample a report. 
if you have any questions on apache spot cluster in azure hd insight please post in the comments if you like this video please subscribe and share the channel thank you